I asked all of my viewers to send in their craziest gaming setups. And from the worst all the way to the best, we're going to be rating every single one of them. All right, to start off the video, we have Speffy's setup. So I think Speffy is gaming on a gaming PC over here. You just can't really see it in the picture. But yeah, this is a pretty good setup. I like the RGB going all around the desk and everything. I think he's just got like some strips or like some other different LED lights on the back of the desk. But that creates like a nice back glow, which I really like. You can also see he has his laptop off to the left. I don't know why, but this might just be the picture, but the monitor looks like it is super far up. Like, it looks like he moved the monitor all the way up on the stand. I don't know if that's just the picture, but if that is really how it is, I would suggest, like, moving that down. This dude might just be, like, abnormally large and just, like, super tall, but I don't know. It also looks like he has a Logitech keyboard and also a G Pro wireless. I'm really rocking with this topographic mouse pad on the back. Honestly, my mouse pad is pretty trash, and I think I'm gonna pick up one of these soon. I'm also really liking your mic setup right here. I can't really tell what mic that is, but it looks pretty good. He's also got like a TV thing right here. I'm not really sure what that is, but it, I don't know. It looks pretty cool. And if we look at this picture, it looks like he also does have a PS5 hooked up to his TV in the back. So yeah, overall, this is a pretty solid setup to start out the video. I think I'm gonna give it like a 6 out of 10. Alright, next up, we got Kez's setup with a triple monitor layout setup. Honestly, I've never really been a big fan of this monitor layout with like this monitor up over in the top right. But he did say that he did move this monitor onto the top of his primary monitor. So that's good. I don't know. I feel like if I ever went for this layout, it'd just be like really awkward just like looking up in the corner. But yeah, he said all three of these monitors are 144 hertz. So by far, it's not bad at all. He said he has a random mic off of Amazon, which I got to agree, you got to invest in probably something more than that. I mean, you got this super impressive setup and then you just got like this rinky dink mic right here. But hey, I'm not one to judge. If it gets the job done, then I can't really really criticize you. But yeah, maybe just think about like investing in a new mic in the future. I don't know. Then he says he has his custom keyboard, which has holy panda switches and orange. It's also tape and foam modded. I don't know a lot about keyboards, so I'm sorry if I said any of that wrong. But overall, that looks like a pretty good keyboard. So, and then he says he has a mouse from Wolves Ultralight too. It also looks like your cable management is like not the best, but I can't really criticize you because mine isn't like nearly as good as this. But yeah, I would recommend like maybe routing those cables like down. I would also recommend like turning your PC. I know a lot of people like to turn their PC like this, but honestly, I just don't really like this layout. I get that you're kind of wanting to sh like show off the parts of the PC, but sometimes it's just better to turn it. It can just be kind of awkward to just like work around and put your stuff around. So like, as you can see, he was forced to move his monitors over here, which in reality, you can move this PC and then just have a triple monitor layout with like all three of them like next to each other. But I don't know if you like that layout, then certainly go for it. I guess one last tip that I would have is it's just kind of lacking like decorations. I know some people just don't like decorations in their setup, but this is kind of just like a minimalistic setup. It looks like he has some sort of light on the back of his primary monitor, but I would suggest getting like some sort of RGB to go with it. You have like this all red theme right here on your monitors and PC, which I really, really like, but you could also get like some LED strips to like go on the back of the desk or your ceiling. That way it could just like match the whole aesthetic of the setup. And I think that could add a lot more to it. I'm also a huge, huge fan of these wallpapers. These are from Attack on Titan, one of my favorite shows, so huge shout out to you for that. But overall, this is a really, really clean setup. I'm gonna have to give it like an 8 out of 10. Alright, next up we got Lucas with an absolutely beautiful setup. It's enough to make a grown man cry. This might possibly be one of the best setups I've ever seen before. The craziest part is that this dude is only 17 and he has this good of a setup. This honestly makes my setup look like complete trash. I'm so jealous of this. I mean, what is there to not like about this setup? I'm really not trying to glaze you right now, Lucas, but literally everything in this is perfect. I am loving this dual monitor layout with the stacked monitors. That is really, really sick. As you can see, he also went for kind of a black and white theme with some greenery mixed in right there. He's also got a ton of like Lego cars on the top, which is super, super cool. I'm also loving like the wood aesthetic that he went for with his desk and everything. I think that matches really well with the greenery and like the black and white. His PC also looks absolutely insane. I'm not too sure what the specs are, but these look absolutely crazy. I'm also really loving the pegboard on the sidewall right here. I tried 
tried to do something like that in my setup, but it didn't really end up working that well. But I think this works super well with your setup, and I think it goes perfectly. And then as you can see, his cable management is flawless. He has a raceway underneath his tabletop, and you cannot see a single cord. I also just noticed that his keyboard has like a wooden wrist pad, which is so sick, dude. But yeah, I don't even know what else to say about this setup. I mean, this is absolutely perfect. I have a feeling this is going to be the best setup of the video, so I'm going to give this an 11 out of 10. Congratulations. Next up on our list, we have a submission from Darth Monkey. It looks like she definitely went for a Star Wars theme for this setup, and I gotta say, I am really, really liking this. As a Star Wars fan myself, I gotta say, I love all these decorations around the setup. As you can see, she turned all of her RGB to red, and I even think she has, like, a red gaming chair. She's also got, like, a Darth Maul mouse pad, which I think is super, super sick. I don't know where you got that, but that is so sick. It also looks like she built some Lego stuff right here, which looks pretty cool, and she's also got some figures over to the right. She actually recently upgraded her setup, getting a new desk, a new mount, and a new boom arm for her mic. As you can see, this is what it looked like before, and it was a lot more cramped, and I think this desk just tied the setup together perfectly. A lot of people ask, like, what they can do to their setup to make it better, and honestly, the number one tip that I would have is investing in a new desk. Getting a new desk can completely transform your setup because you can have so much more space to work, and you can just put so much more stuff into your setup. There are also a ton of budget options for desks out there that you could really, really use. So yeah, that's probably one of my number one tips is to invest in a new desk if you're feeling like your setup is too cramped. Anyway, moving back onto the setup, I think we have a mic by Fafine. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm pretty sure that's what that mic is right there. I can't really tell what the mouse and keyboard are, but they look pretty decent. And as far as the PC, I think that might be a pre-built, but I can't say for certain. I also just noticed this Darth Vader figure down at the bottom left, which is super, super cool. Honestly, I don't have a lot of criticism about this setup except for like the cable management down here which again i have terrible cable management so i can't really say anything but yeah overall i am super impressed with this setup i'm gonna have to give it like a 8 out of 10 next we got a setup from master karma i am a really big fan of this setup just because of all the personality that's going on throughout the whole setup i really like this lightsaber thing that he has right here this is super super cool and i'm also really in love with this corner back here surprisingly with like his figures and his ring light right here i think this looks really really good i also can't tell but i think that's a monitor on the left that's not not a laptop. Yeah, that's probably a monitor. And I think this is a TV right here. As you can see, he's playing on a Xbox. So that's probably hooked up to the TV. Oh yeah. And I just noticed, I think that is a laptop in the middle. So he has that right there. I think that is a Razer Siren mini microphone right there in a pink colorway, which is pretty cool. And you can also see they got the controller right there and their mouse and keyboard. Overall, this is super clean. I love the RGB on this setup and I love the personality. I'm not really sure what this is on the right. I think that's probably their webcam, but overall, I think this is super cool. I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10. So yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's rating your setups video. If you want the chance for your setup to be featured in a video like this in the future, make sure to go in the description and join my Discord server and send in a submission of your setup. I will definitely make sure to review it and maybe give any tips that I would recommend. But anyway, guys, I appreciate if you made it this far in the video, and I truly do hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bitch, you fought with a petty king I don't do forgiving for a lot of things, yeah Fuck me over, I'm gonna do that shit right back to